In this video, I want to show you how to create uh, an email sequence or an email drip campaign. Okay, so an email sequence is a series of emails that you uh, send out to your uh, contacts uh, based on a predetermined uh, schedule, right? So you send them out automatically and periodically. So you go to email automation and go to sequences and click this new sequence button. And we're going to give this a name, demo sequence two, click create. All right, so this is the sequence, the demo sequence two. Um, you, on your left hand side is the uh, email content itself. And we have some statistics over here and some settings, uh, whether you want the email to be sent immediately or with a delay of uh, X number of days or hours or minutes. Okay, I'm going to choose immediately for now because that's the most uh, typical use case scenario. So where you offer a lead magnet and you want to immediately deliver the lead magnet to your contacts. Okay, so uh, there are also some settings over here. You can, it's very self-explanatory. You can insert this description if you want. This is only for your internal reference. Your contacts will not see this. And then some of the center settings, uh, footer, uh, notification if you want to receive an email whenever a new contact subscribes you can do so by inputting your email address over here okay so uh, let's go back to the emails tab now uh, this is very very easy to use so you just type your content here okay so for example this is my this is my content I can simply click this and link this to a URL And I can click insert. All right, and uh, the others are very again self-explanatory. You can bold, italicize, underline, uh, use the numbers or bullet points, uh, insert an image, uh, increase the size, uh, personalize. Uh, so if let's say you want to output the uh, first name, then you can type contact first name, and we have a few other options to choose from as you hope here as well. Or you can also um, insert a button over here, right? So you can customize this uh, however you want. Choose the color, the font size, the horizontal padding, border radius, and the vertical padding. Okay, for now I just want to uh, click cancel because I don't want to do that. And then on the right hand side is uh, some more statistics. So send, open, clicks, earn, or earn per contact. Okay, uh, these are some of the uh, legends so that you can know uh, at a glance if you have a lot of emails here then you can see which one is performing well in terms of the opens clicks the earnings or the earnings per contact okay so we automatically calculate that for you now you can also click more new emails so in this example i have one two three four five five emails in the sequence and this is the subject one subject one if i click here you can see that this immediately updates subject one so for example, this one is the email number five. I can put in subject five. Okay, and you can see that changes subject five. So in real time, I can also drag and drop this uh, subject five to become the first email to be sent. Uh, I can add as many emails as I want. So uh, that's basically about it with the creating a sequence. And as you can see after, it's very easy to do that. And it's very quick because you get to see all of it, all of your sequence in one single page. If you click here and just edit the content, click for this email, can edit the content. All right, after that, don't forget to click update, click this, and we are done. 